Hi everyone, welcome back to Frugality and Finance. Okay, we have a budget video. I have not done one in a while, so I'm very excited to do this one. Nothing super special to budget, but just feels nice going back to budget videos. I miss my YNAB people. Speaking of YNAB, that is the budget app and software that I'm going to be using. So if you have YNAB, please feel free to follow along and budget with me. So we have $2,338.96 to budget. Yes, I have one overspend category, but I can explain. I got paid a few days ago and I didn't get a chance to film until now. So technically I spent some of the money that I'm about to budget, but at least I'm going to show you that I'm replenishing what I spent. No, I did not spend the money before I got paid. I spent it afterwards, so it's not that bad. I was just saving it for the YouTube video, okay? So let's just go in order. I'm gonna go to my fixed expenses, and I actually have most of these filled up already because I tend to budget for my day-to-day -day expenses with the paycheck from the previous month, so that's why I have these categories filled up already except for rent and actually i'm not even gonna fund rent with this paycheck i will fund it with my next paycheck so i'm gonna skip this for now i guess all the fixed categories are good i can skip all of them and the main thing i'm gonna use this paycheck for is for some of my financial systems now if you watched my video great if you didn't you get to see it in action um, so for travel i would like to budget 500 dollars every month same as last year and I just want to make sure that I stick to that budget. So I'm going to go ahead and fund that. Yay. And now I'm going to fund my Roth IRA contribution. You can see that there's $10 still available to spend on that category or send to my Roth IRA. Funny story. Apparently I didn't finish my maxing out the Roth IRA financial system of 2023. And that is because Fidelity did not let me transfer the remaining $8 that I had to send to my Roth IRA for 2023 because it was less than $10. So I didn't realize that there was like this $10 transfer minimum and that was annoying. So I thought, okay, what would happen if I just call Taylor up? Just kidding. What would happen if I took $2 out of my 2023 Roth IRA, moved it to my checking account, and then now I have $10 that I can contribute, thinking that it would let me send $10 to that account, but then when I actually tried it, it would still not let me fund more than $8 into that account, and it also required a $10 transfer into that account. So make it make sense. How exactly am I going to find a number that is $8 or less, but $10 or more. Doesn't exist. I guess I didn't complete that system, unfortunately. I'm sorry guys, I lied to you. I'm gonna plan better next time because now I know the limitations the Fidelity has in terms of transfers. And we're just gonna send, we're just gonna send that $10 this month. So let me just finish funding it for this month for my 2024 Roth IRA. And here we are. Now we have $582 that I can send. And then by the end of this year in December, I can send a little bit extra that is more than $10 towards the account to completely max it out. All right, we have made it to the category that I actually overspent on. And it was $960 that I sent to my parents' mortgage. And I did that literally the day I got my paycheck because I was like, mm, I'd rather save them on some interest, so let's just let's just pay it now. Let's commit to $960. Let me assign that so that it doesn't look like I'm completely disregarding my budget. And now I have $306.96. That if you look at my other categories below, my gifts and wardrobe categories are in yellow, so it means that I haven't fully assigned my target, and that's okay with me. In other words, I'm not going to fund these categories with the remaining money I have left to assign. I'm actually just going to end up sending it to my rent. I know I said I wouldn't, but since I have this much money available, sounds good. It seems like it'll be perfect for the amount that I'll have in my next paycheck and then I'll fully fund my rent and then I can fully fund my expenses for next month. Yeah, that's my budget. Very happy with it. Looks like I'm making progress on my financial systems 
and I've learned a few things along the way. All right, thank you guys so much for watching me budget my January paycheck. Just want to remind you, I do have a referral link for YNAB in my description box below. So if you're interested, feel free to click on the link. It gives you a free trial and then you can decide whether you want to subscribe or not. Please leave in the comments below what thing you're most excited to spend money on this month that you budgeted for. Yeah, just let me know if it's a thing or if it's an experience. I'd love to read everyone's answer to that.